Hey guys, and welcome back. The holidays are fast approaching, and during the holidays, we're always in need of some healthy snack and appetizer recipes, because let's be honest, most holiday nibbles are anything but healthy. Now, I definitely don't have anything against splurges, but when you have the option to eat a healthy snack versus a sugary snack, I think that's always a win. So today I'm gonna show you how to make my easy and delicious deviled eggs. Now, this is a classic deviled eggs recipe, and I think still the best version of deviled eggs, but over on my website, I will give you a few different flavor variations. Depending on the time of year that you're making this recipe, or if you're making it for a specific holiday like Easter, you can have fun with a variety of different flavors. All right, let me show you how to make them. To get started, fill a pot with hot water and bring it to a boil. I'm using a medium-sized pot today as I'll be cooking six eggs, but you could use a larger pot and cook more eggs to easily double or triple this recipe for a large gathering. I've shown you how to make both hard boiled eggs and soft boiled eggs before, so if you'd like a step-by-step -step tutorial for perfectly boiled eggs of all different consistencies, make sure to watch that video. But for today's hard boiled eggs, once your water is boiling, reduce the heat to low so that there are no longer bubbles forming, then use a skimmer to gently transfer your eggs to the pot and set a timer for 14 minutes. While the eggs are cooking, prepare an ice water bath and set that aside. The ice water bath immediately stops the eggs from cooking and helps to prevent that green tinge you can get around the yolk from overcooked eggs. After your 14 minutes is up, use your skimmer to remove the hard boiled eggs to the ice water bath and let them fully cool. Peel your hard boiled eggs, give them a rinse and slice them in half. Then use a spoon to remove the egg yolk to a bowl and place the egg white on a serving tray. When it comes to removing the yolk, I have a little trick that makes it super easy. And that's to use two of your fingers to pull back on the top and bottom of the egg. When you do this, the egg yolk almost pops out on its own, but you can still use a small spoon for some added help. Once all your egg yolks are in a bowl, use a fork to break them apart until they're crumbly and resemble coarse sand. Then add three tablespoons of mayonnaise, and I'm using my homemade mayo recipe, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and I do recommend Dijon mustard rather than yellow mustard for more flavor, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and some salt and pepper. Then use a large fork or spoon to stir everything together until it's nice and creamy. To transfer the yolk mixture back into the egg whites, you can use a small spoon or you can use a piping bag if you'd like a more ornate looking deviled egg. I personally like the more rustic look of the yolk mixture just dolloped back in, but it's completely up to you. Then to make these truly deviled eggs, we need a little spice, so grab your paprika and sprinkle a little bit on each egg. And that's how easy it is to make deviled eggs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss my next video.